Hello insecticide tubers and welcome back to Let's Get Rid of the Chuck in Star Drive 2 with me Bloinkilo. Last episode we had a couple fun space battles where we destroyed the enemy fleet and apparently the Kodrazine are going to steal one of our planets. Ultra poor swamp. It's actually not a bad planet, don't get me wrong. You could just farm it or research on it, but I don't like that. We're going to be going to war pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, let's see what buildings are completed. We don't even really need these military antenna. I'm just building them because it's a good habit to have lots of spare command points. Even though they cost us upkeep. Making sure nothing is, uh, no construction. When I'm clicking through all these, mostly I'm looking for no construction planets. Um, Holic, how have seven people? We could get them up to elated with, uh... You know what, we'll build these. They're pretty good. We won't worry about too much else here, but that'll do. It's not a horrible planet. Just tiny. And then Isil is doing well. Yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, um... Send some bug spray up here for sure. So the way I want, but the way I like it is basically because we're gonna have this ship. I don't really plan on doing a lot of ground combat, so we're not gonna need to bring a whole lot of uh, ground troops. Um, but we'll bring six anyway, basically. Oh, hold on, we'll actually give them just in case I get stuck in combat. Actually, these guys are ready to go. Just in case I get stuck in ground combat, I want to have them ready, but they probably won't be needed very often. Alright. Into the wormhole we go! And... I'm not terribly worried about... I mean, the, 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 the bears could have a fleet somewhere up here that they're preparing to attack with. They don't like us, but... I think we'd be able to pull through anyway, because we'd be able to come back through the wormhole and head up there before long. Or, our secondary fleet will be ready before too long. Okay, so, let's get to work. Oh, also, in case you've forgotten, I do need to study the Dimensional Rift eventually, but it's very expensive. That's like a, I don't know, tier 7-ish cost for a tech. It's a pretty long way off. We have another star base. That's more command points and some basic defense from at least crystals and stuff for the most part. Here we go. Hang on. Here we go. So these planets aren't good, but we're going to steal all their tech. Speaking of which... How much tech do you have? Oh, you got lots of stuff. These guys have class 3 shields. Well, that'd be nice. Um, what else do they have? There's one of these that gives you plus 50% damage to all um, cannon weapons, like laser cannons, plasma cannons. I don't think he has it. The only thing I really want is the shields, if we could steal that. Hopefully he has enough planets. <laughs> Do -do. Oh, he has a star base. It is just a normal star base. I think star fortresses look a little bigger. And I didn't see star fortress on his tech. Or I think it goes, was it star base, battle station, star fortress, technically? They don't have any good tech, though. They don't have anything good. Now, if they had installed their class 3 shields, which perhaps, let's say, they just re they just researched, that might have given them a small chance. I don't need to worry about this. We're good. Fighters tend to tear these guys up. And mass, well, mass drivers actually tear them up even more, but... Oh, hold on. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't rush in like fools. Like, 90% of the battle station's weapons won't even affect you if you just stay at range. What's he got? I don't even know what those are. Doesn't seem to do a whole lot. Whatever it is. He doesn't have mass drivers or he'd be shooting them at us. Uh, it's already dead. I don't know what those orange bullets were. Maybe someone in chat knows. The mass drivers did their job, though. I don't think we got any promote. Oh, wait, this is a new promotion. The Silver Eagle. Cool, fighters get extra 10% damage. 
Sweet. Standard artillery rounds? Oh, that's depressing. All they had was artillery rounds on their starbase? That's... Yeah, it might as well be Cheetos. Psh. I don't think the Chuck is going to do very well against us coming in. I just don't see it. Bombard. I do want to capture it, but I don't like them having civilians around. We're going to replace them with plants. One more hit. No, yeah, one more hit. Oops, dang it. I think it's 20 damage per, per bomb. Oh, well, I missed a tech we could have stolen. Look, Coldrazine, you better watch it yourself. Just because I destroyed that and now we're in your territory. You be careful. Those are not going to be able to stop us. Stupid Coldrazine. Hey, Dubstep. Alright, another Starbase. I might be able to just auto it, but I don't want to risk it. Auto battle is really sketchy in this one. I've, I've lost a lot of ships and ground battles, or at least just took damage that we shouldn't have taken damage for. So, we're always going to have to do these manually. Unless we really get so stupidly overpowered that losing a fleet doesn't matter. That's a ways off, though. I imagine this will go about as well as the last battle, though. How much damage does that artillery do, even? 200? 500? Well, that's about a tenth as good as mass drivers. Here, let's let... Oh, I was gonna at least let them shoot some rockets at our fighters. So, there is always a bit of lag when you capture a starbase, in my experience. It's kind of annoying, but just give it some time. It'll be fine. Free the owls? Well, we will. Don't worry. Oh, look! They actually have defenses. This does... Okay, when you're, when you're bombing the ground forces, it does 5 damage to the uh, colony. When you're specifically targeting civilians, it's 20. So we need one more. And then we'll actually capture some tech this time. We stole pulse cannons! And we have one little worker there. Once this war is over, we'll probably ship some plants up and we'll hide all of these guys on the same planet so that they're... But this is the, this is approximately the point in the game where all of this micromanaging gets really annoying for me. Um, River Bay Infantry Base, Imperial University. Yeah. Just queue up a bunch of stuff, basically. Xeno Mine, Pollution, Automated, Starbase, Flat Research, a little bit of money, sure, grow bigger, happy, happy, food. Because we're going to move our plants here. Trade. Also, we've got to make sure we don't accidentally leave our plants behind. So they're running away. They basically guaranteed... Oh, nano cash! We're making a beeline that direction. I wish there was a way we could just abandon the colony. You know what? Let's just sell it. <laughs> Let's just sell it to the culture scene. <laughs> Hey, Gorgerzine, how about you have a dumb planet that I don't even really want? I just want to steal tech. Uh, these guys. Here you go. I'm really nice. What's the name of it, though, first? It is Raiden 2. Where are we looking here? Sorry. Colony Raiden 2. Totally. Or Raiden 3, whatever. Look at how valuable it is! Give me something in return, like all of your money. He won't trade anything, unfortunately. I'll just give it to him, but it would be nice if you could get something. Hey, I can get Trilithium! That'll work. Our ships will move a little faster. I hope you guys are happy with that garbage planet. Now we're going to get this planet, which we do want, because Nano Cache is great. I wonder if their fleet is planning on attacking us. Good luck if you try that. Ch 
ship all the aliens to the planet and then give it to someone. Yeah, that's good. Alright, battleships. That's what we've been waiting for. But yeah, there should be a way to just manually execute citizens, because I like my plants, and the robots are okay, but all the other races will give us a uh, approval penalty if they're on the same planet, so I'd rather just junk them all. That's fine. We've got another ship finished. Let's speed this up a little bit with some money. Starbase is good. Getting ready for farming up here on the poor, poor, poor planet. Oh, by the way, we are making a ton of excess food. I should double check what we're doing. Give them all the Chuck Planets, then take them back for more tech. Depends on if they have enough tech worth stealing like that. They don't really. They've only got... They don't really have anything I want, to be honest. Alright, well, we got the big big ships. What would we want next? Um, targeting computers are good. They're basically the same as the crew quarters, except bigger, so... Eh. Flat research. This is good for research planets, for sure. Flat plus two per researcher. Maybe I should go with that. Speed up the overall research process. That's some happiness there. That's that racial conflict. You can get rid of it if you pick that. Cruise missiles I would put on a couple ships. Because I don't have any missiles on anything right now. And cruises, cruises are pretty cool. I think we'll go with research. We'll go research first. I mean, I think our tech rate is a little bit insane right now anyway. We're going to surpass everyone in no time. Especially if we keep destroying planets and selling them to our enemies. <laughs> oh, there's a part of their fleet. Are they going to fight with uh, the cold regime? It'd be even better if it gets these two into a war with each other. That'd be the best pro strat ever. What? Oh, you think so, do you? Uh, it's not going to happen. What do you guys got? Mm, nothing that's going to deal with us. Notice how we have more techs than they do? <laughs> Corp World Pride in Daimos. Which races did I destroy? Well, we've started destroying the Chuck. We're going to have to destroy everyone pretty soon, though. They're all starting to get a little bit uppity. Hey, we found the Rayleigh! I haven't actually met these guys yet. Probably the Rayleigh saw that I destroyed the Chuck fleet, so they declared war on them. They are barely sentient, stupid bugs. Well, Volfar, I think, has maybe three or four planets. <laughs> and our secondary fleet is very, very nearly ready already. Already ready. Poison Ivy. In fact, we're gonna we're gonna pimp that out with a couple more Spore Cannon Mark Twos and another. Oh, I need to. Oh, no, forget that. Hold on. We got battleships. <laughs> we're gonna have to go on a design rampage. Also, I am making way too much food right now. Almost time for Galactonets, but I don't need them, so. Let's, let's, let's max that research out. Let's make sure we don't have too many people farming on in... Like, let's min-max a little here. Zero will be okay for farming eventually. Alright, we're still making more food than we're using. It just turns into money, and in fact, it turns into a lot of money because of this bonus thing. Well... I say a lot. It turns into more money than usual. Alright. We're still positive technically with zero tax. Uh, there's nothing else I'd want to build here other than just flat research for upkeep, which, eh, doesn't matter. We've got our fleet currently has two spores, a plasma, and a, and a carrier. We'll finish our tanker slash bombardier, and that'll be pretty much ready to go. In fact, you know what? 
Let's make it match the other fleet. Let's give it another... I think I had spore, three spore cannons on the other one. So I want that. Space Cthulhu are the sexy race? Well, they are pretty sexy. We still haven't met them. They've got to be... Well, there's two places left. One race is here, one race is here, certainly. I'm going to guess that this is the Rayleigh taking that system in from there. Which means the Space Spies are over here. We've got three turns to get there. I can still buy tech at some point from Crazy Earl, or whatever his name is. Alright. I guess everyone probably wants to see what the next ship looks like. Ah, well, they've got good names by default. The Doom Lotus, although we are missing something. We're missing, this is the targeting computer, but... <laughs> That's actually a, not a horrible design, to be honest. It's too much armor, not enough shield. No CIC either. This is pretty cool. Fleet bonuses. So, you know, how would I design one of these things? Well, for one, I would likely build a carrier of this size. Uh, how many... Just for interest's sake. It depends on the ship design. Sometimes it's not good. Like, this is not much better than the cruiser for actual spots for fighter bays on the, on the left and right. It's also very inefficient here. Just for interest's sake, basically. So you could fit approximately 8... Uh, 12. You can about fit about 15... These things do cost a considerable more in command points. Whereas our original had six. I guess that is a fair bit better. That's pretty good. I've seen better. Look at the look at the Kulrathi or the Opterus battleships. It's better than this, almost certainly. Um also let's make sure. I can still enter names. Okay, so designing an entire ship, I'll be able to save it. That's important to know. So what kind of what kind of ship am I wanting to build here? Um, maybe we'll make it multi-purpose. I usually just specialize, but let's throw in a bit of everything, depending on space consumption, basically. So we're going to want, like, a couple long-range mass drivers at the very least. We'll see where they fit, but for now, let's throw on, like, two on each side, for instance. Actually, well, they would fit right in there, too. Let's just start with a couple of those. Usually, the bigger the ship, the harder it is to, um... Well, yeah, each... Depending on the, the, the race. So, whatever whatever race you're using will have different layouts. I think Kulrathi and Optus are the biggest. But, yeah, the, the, the polyps are in up there. Before I get too far into this, I definitely want a main engineering this time around. Much bigger, but for larger ships, it's almost important. It's pretty important. Um, we definitely need at least a basic command. Reduces, even for a large ship, it'll be minus one at least for the command points. So we'll put that in there somewhere at the very least. Got to remember that. Destroyer slash gunship. Well, I guess what I was trying to say was that it's difficult to make these things terribly agile. Um, only being able to fit. Oh, it's, it's off center. No! Look at this. They're not symmetrical. <laughs> I hate it! Curse it, I can't use this ship. <laughs> this this square, one of these squares needs to change. Um, I guess if I put enough fusion cannons, it might be fairly quick. We can fit in a lot of central shields. That That one little tile just wrecks the whole ship. I mean, I might just pile up a ton of shields. Are they the fastest? I guess I guess I'm not used to making fast ships. Long range. Trouble is we don't have any missile tech yet. Our our options for this vessel are mass drivers, disruptor cannons. That's it. <laughs> that's 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 our choices. Plasma cannons are dumb. Laser cannons are dumb. Vulcan cannons are dumb. We'll need some point defense on a big ship. I don't like artillery. The point is, I haven't researched a whole lot of new stuff. So this is going to basically look like a larger version of one of the other ships we already have. That's just going to be how it is, basically. Once we get some new tech, it'll be better. 
So let's throw maybe the main engineering back here because of the weird, weird. I don't like the fact that it's unsymmetrical, but if it is, I guess I might as well do that. Oh, you know what? I wish I had, re I should have researched, I should have bought the uh, antimatter, the yellow ones, and I could have put a three by three generator in here. Oh, maybe I have to wait. This is an addition, J-Rab. The 3x3 three three generators would fit really nicely. Actually, eh, it's fine. Never mind. I forgot. I do math. The 3x3s three three would still be nice to add in. Main engineering. We've got most of the stuff we need already. Mass drivers are five squares high. Maybe we put them all on the front. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second! Well, that's not perfectly symmetrical. That's a ridiculous close-up fire, um, frontal firepower. That would be absolutely insane. In fact, you could put more. <laughs> Buy the 3x3 three three generators. Well, it's going to take a few turns to research them, either way. I guess we should. Alright, we'll, we'll save this design for another episode, another day. It'll be fun once we get to it, but I, I do have some easy check, easy tech we can pick up. And I was sort of waiting to buy it. Crazy Eddie, alright. We've already bought the dual magazine loader. It sort of reappears, it's weird. Um, that was the crew quarters. Let's see, I don't remember what all this stuff is, to be honest. Oh, this is the ammo fabricator, that's cool. 2100... I don't remember what that is. This, I'm pretty sure, is the uh, the reactor. Well, one of them is... There's another... Uh, there's ion engines, and there's another reactor in here somewhere. Frontal shielding would be smart, too. Yeah, that's a good point. If I just leave it in long range, kind of like my current mass driver ships, that's probably what I'll do. Ancient hull plating, that is another armor. That's, I think, the weapon for the small corvettes. Quantum is level as power. Smelling engine is ion, okay. Data crystals is just money, yeah, okay. Yeah, so this is the engine, certainly. Strange looking engine core, sticky. So, what was it the one we wanted? I don't remember what the, the swirling silver concoction is. Really all I want is the reactor right now. Pretty sure this is it. Silver vial is speed and strategy. Oh wait, that's good too. Okay. We'll pick this up first. We've got a fair bit of money. I can't buy everything, but... Just a flat speed upgrade? I can't argue with that. Alright. Spent a lot of money. We'll stop there. Alright. Research. Okay, quantum... That's going to go really quick. That will take us not even... Well, that would take us one turn. So that's fine. Shield generators. Yeah, the Delta Shield I don't really care about. The stuff I want is the, the reactor, the Corvette weapon eventually, if I feel like it, and any passive upgrade is always good. All right, well, that will be done in a single turn. Then maybe we can design our ship. Quantum Fusion Reactors. That's, that is exactly the one I should have got earlier, especially once we had battleships. All right, good, good, continue growing. Poison Ivy complete, Spore Cannon growing. I should just say they're growing. We don't actually build ships, we grow them. Military antenna, yeah, we've got tons of command points. We can load up on so many ships. So Silver Fluid is gonna take a fair while when I wanna research that. So that's a, a large project. I'm gonna get this first no matter what, and then maybe I'll look, work on that afterwards. All right, so that was actually really easy. It cost us a lot of money, but uh, now we've got the fancy yellow one. Now, is it strictly speaking... I think it is an upgrade from Fusion, isn't it? 150 power, 100 power. So it's 50% better at the same size, plus it has the only large 3x3s in the game. Once we get uh, Antimatter, I think, and certainly Dark Fusion or Dark whatever, there's two more tech power upgrades that we can research eventually, but this one's definitely the easiest to get early on, I think, and we should have done it quicker. Good call, Jay. Good call. 
So, the fact that these are so nicely fitting here means I definitely want to throw them in the middle. And then, similarly, the shields... We'll, dec we'll decide how I want to do the shields. I wish I had class 3 shields. I'm sure we'll be getting them shortly. But we'll start with 2 and we'll see how we can do. Okay, so, important things. I don't... See, if I do just turn this thing into a ridiculous mass driver ship, which I'm definitely considering strongly... Um... In fact, very, very strongly. We don't really need a lot of engines on that kind of vessel. Although, the the, the dual mass drivers are relatively mid-range. They're not as long as the normal ones. Uh, assuming you're a regular, you can do it automatically. If you're not a regular, I'd have to add you to that. I can't remember if I added you or not. But yeah, links are fine if you're a reg. How, how many more? I think I can fit three more. I'd like to have a few normal mass drivers for longer range. That's fine. Three of each. Oh, didn't get you. Okay, hold on. I can fix that. You've been around for a long time. Rig at... I, just, I need to get a couple more mods one of these days. Okay, you should be able to post links now. Alright, so... Also, I have a permit command I could have done too. You don't have to be regulars, but uh, that'll be fine. Um, do I want to put any baby ones on? They are four high. There's actually not a lot of room for that. So the baby mass drivers... Let us see, what was their range on them? 300, that's even worse than those. 500's good enough. Alright, so... Long range, real good. I can still fit on two more if I wanted, but that would cut into forward shielding should I choose to do that. We'll definitely want some uh, point defense. Yeah, I think this is probably what we're going to do. We're going to throw in main engineering back here for much better power efficiency, and I might not worry about engines a whole lot. 20, 30 sh turning, that's pretty good. Crew quarters, we need lots of these. Okay, where are we going to st stick these? Yeah. Well, no, the front's kind of important. We'll, wait, we'll put them somewhere else, probably. Like back here, along this kind of bit. I am probably going to put in a lot of... Like, if these all stack, that's plus six levels of accuracy. That's ridiculous. <laughs> um... We don't have uh, jammers yet. We do need the command module. We put that in the back, maybe. I'm not going to need a lot in the back. I guess we'll see. Um, we'll, we've got ridiculous amounts of power at this point. Um, I still haven't put as many shields on as I probably will. Could I have a shield up front? Could I have two on the side? That's a lot of frontal shields already. This thing doesn't need it, but there, it's super, super shielded, except from the rear. And even then, it, these things will double up over there if they need it. Um, and I could put more on, but at, at some point, you're just overkilling the shields. Putting crew in front of the main guns is a really good idea, yeah. <laughs> just duck. I have to imagine the design is slightly three-dimensional, so these things kind of poke up above, and these guys, they're just close to the guns for reloading, right? <laughs> Alright, well, we definitely want some flat cannons. These things are real good at shooting down fighters and stuff. Um, it's mostly coming from the front. So we'll put in most of the flak defense up the front, and a couple on the side, but it's not a big priority. And I like to have some laser cannon point defense to sort of alternate, basically. So it's not always the big uh, flat cannons. Just a few more ways of shooting down incoming missiles. We're probably not going to worry about armor. Oh, I can't handle it. It's in the middle. It's a dumb place for it. The guns have to be somewhat outer-wise. Probably putting the shields right here is slightly weak, because they'll take damage from the side and these will get destroyed. They'd be safer in the middle. 
So, what would we rather lose? We'd rather lose the crew quarters than the shields, for instance. There's a little bit of pro strats for you guys. All right, that's that's enough flat cannons, I think. Probably enough point defense. I might throw a few on the back just in case fighters are buzzing around us in circles. Then we've got some more firepower on them. Uh, so engines. Uh, I might not actually go with fusion engines to keep the price down a little bit because they're twice as expensive. And I can just throw in maybe a couple big... I mean, that's got to be enough turning rate for all we need. And uh, these are the most efficient for uh, thrust, basically. Plus, the main engineering helps. We've got command, we've got engineering, we've got more than enough power. Ridiculous amounts of power. We could throw in more shields, we could throw in... What else could I throw in here? We need a couple power capacitors for the guns. Let's just tentatively put them there. That's way more than we'll need. Um, I could throw in some medium range weapons, like, you know, instructors are kind of medium range. It is a frontal, so anything coming up front. The trouble is the range on these things isn't amazing. Um, 250 is pretty close compared to where we're really tearing stuff up. EMPs are pretty cool, actually. What's the range on these things? 300 range. Anything that lost its shields within 300 would be disabled. That's kind of fun. Do the non-spot... the... Let me see, let me just double check the damage here. Before any upgrades, one shot every six and a half, six and a half seconds versus two shots every five seconds. Wow. So two shots at 800 at point blank, basically, versus 800 at point blank. Um, the disruptor does slightly more damage. It takes up more space, though. It's not, strictly speaking, worse. I usually just put in the turret, though. Yeah, we will need some ammo. You guys are correct on that one. I can kind of fit it in wherever, though. The mass drivers don't actually use a whole lot of ammo. They mostly use power. So we can kind of squish in a few of these, sort of wherever it's required. And that's already basically two minutes of sh shots, which is tons. Okay, pretty good. I am going to throw in some laser cannons point defense on the back because they're real cheap and uh, I can just squish them in there basically like that and it doesn't really affect the price or the overall cost at all we've got four front three six back actually is more we might fit a couple more in I will put some more ammo in um, you know what we'll put in we'll put in a couple disruptors on the sides this is for anything that actually gets too close I don't want overload, actually. A couple options to, for things that get too close by. So long as we can fire forever. Do I just load up? If I had some good rockets, I'd throw them in there. The trouble with... Um, the, the spinal rockets are amazing. But they're really slow and they use a ton of ammunition. So they kind of compete with our mass drivers. And they're easy to shoot down. One large ammo in the back. Yeah, I'll probably put that there. That makes sense. Design team. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. We could throw in some, some more on the side. Um, I might throw in a shield back here, to be honest. Just in case somehow something gets behind us. We got tons of shields. We might as well overdo it a little bit. Currently at th uh, two and a half minutes of fire, so we'll want a few more, um, a few more ordnance packages here. At least this much. The back doesn't need anything else. We have got more than enough capacitors, actually. Um, well, it's nice to have some spare power for the shields if I want to hit the button. So it's, it's not the worst idea. Okay, the ship's looking really good. It's getting a little slow, but that's fine. I could upgrade these if I wanted. Um, let's see, what else do we want to finish this up with? Is there any basic systems we're missing? Sensors? Nah. More crew? Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking we're just going to throw in some more disruptors, to be honest. Is 
Still tons of power. Still tons of power. Price is getting pretty crazy at this point. We've got a little 3x3 three three bit up front. Uh, just so things are symmetrical so they don't drive me crazy. Bam. <laughs> the laser cannon won't be that amazing, but uh, it's symmetrical. Well, other than the stupid back side of it where we can't keep things symmetrical, it'll be pretty awesome. Lots of big guns, lots of shields, and just because... Two tiny little bits of armor. <laughs> the armor is totally a waste. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, that's good. It would be better off even as point to... Okay. Even more useful than the little bits of armor would actually be point defense. Just a little bit more shooting down enemy missiles and fighters is a little bit better. Alright. Anything glaringly f messed up? We've got a 10 turning speed, which is actually not that bad. Tons of power... Almost four minutes of firing. That's fine. Um, eventually I'll have a ship that creates ordnance and teleports it around. Probably, if we get that far. We have way more power than we need. We could easily get rid of one or two of these. But we're not going to. Any block of armor is good. Yeah, I know, but... I'm pretty sure once the shields go down, we've already messed up. Teleportation doesn't work. No, if you have ammo in the fleet. It, the thing is, we would have to fight in one battle for four minutes. If I have another uh, vessel in the fleet, like a frigate or a, cor or a cruiser, that's just loaded up on ammo, they redistribute, I'm pretty sure, in between. I'm pretty 99% sure they do that. Alright, we've got to do some names. The pilot... Oh no! I could move it over. Hold on, hold on. That's a good point. That's a good point. We're going to always clip things with our left wing. Yeah. Yeah. We lose a little bit of... Oops. Misclick there. Jay almost... Jay almost wrecked it. Alright. He saved it. He didn't wreck it. He, he saved it. We, we almost wrecked it, but he saved it. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, names. This is this is pretty ridiculous ship. It's uh 1500 production is going to take a long time. But uh that's pretty solid. So what do you guys think for names? Long range. It's mostly long range bombard, but it does have quite a lot of guns if you get too close to it. Jay's got a nice long list of everything we've thought of so far. Um, let's see. What did you miss, Michigan? What do you think you missed? <laughs> uh, let's see. I like... You know what? The Wolf's... No, I, I checked the save bug before we started here. We're, we'll go with the Wolf's Bane. I like that. And remember, the, 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 the Wolf... The Space Wolves, they just threatened us. So this is ready for them. It's probably not actually capitalized in real life. There you go. Wolf's Bane. One ridiculous ship, in case you're wondering what it looks like. There you go. It is very flowery. Cabbage Patch Killer. Big booty. <laughs> we got some good ships. Unfortunately, we're going to have to wrap this up pretty quick. Let's see how long it would take to actually build. Uh, we're not going to build any fly traps. Ten turns. You know, that's not bad. In ten turns, we can pull out... A ridiculously powerful ship that starts at level 3 and has 6 crew quarters. It'll be firing at a level 12 rate. I don't think it'll ever miss at that point. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. We'll still pump out this spore cannon first. But I would say this fleet is basically ready to go for the Volfar. Who are almost assuredly going to break this trade treaty and attack us because we refuse to pay them tribute. They tend to declare war on you for that. Do we have any other good production planets? Like, where else? Okay, La Flower is pretty good. It's not that far off. I know where that is, right? La Flower. So we're talking about rich, normal G. That's pretty good. It's not going to grow any bigger. It's already done all the normal stuff it needs. 
Except if I want to build ships. You know what? That's fine. We need a couple more places to build ships. We're never going to hit our command point cap. So we'll have this place pull out a couple spore cannons and uh, another f another f carrier. The nightshade is plasma. We'll need at least one tanker. And then we'll pull out a wolfsbane. Something like that, anyway. More ships, basically. You should on purpose pollute your high production patterns to get help to get hellforges. Well, I'm trying on the flower. We're, <laughs> I mean, other than destroying um, the actual pollution reductor. I mean, the radiated planet. I don't care about that. <laughs> All right, I got to wrap this episode up. We're 40 minutes in, and unfortunately, I have to end this stream as well because I need to eat some dinner. But this has been a lot of fun, and I think we're ready for some conquest. Also. I did notice that they uh, they stole it, little jerks. Um, but yeah, we'll have probably one fleet to handle the center. We need to retrofit this fleet, but we'll have them deal with the Chuck and the Kodrazine. We've got one basically ready for the Volfar, and I'll tentatively make another one to go into the center or the Bears, and we'll have basically three fleets to mop things up across the galaxy. In the next few episodes, we're probably going to start really pushing in and uh, conquering a lot of territory. <laughs> I'm not going to spend a lot of time building up these planets. I think we've basically got it. Alright, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.